Mary Louise Parker, the famous actress, is here. She has conquered both the screen and the stage, including notable roles in Fried Green Tomatoes, who could forget, and her Golden Globe winning role on Showtime's hit series Weeds. Well, now Parker is out with her first book. It's called Dear Mr. You. Mary Louise Parker, good morning. Good morning. It's such an honor to meet you. I'm a big Thank admirer. You. And did I, I didn't even know you were hiding this literary talent this whole time. <laughs> this is your first book you've written before, yeah. but I mean, you are a real writer. Thank you. D David Granger really, I have him to thank for believing in me and, he's your and agent. letting me. No, he, he's the editor in chief of Esquire magazine, and um, he let me write for Esquire for a number of years, and I still write from time to time. But I mentioned your agent because he did something I think is really cool, which is when he sent out this manuscript. He didn't attach your name to it. Right. He didn't want people to think, oh, it's a celebrity memoir. Right, right, those two dirty right. words. It's something else. And I think that's a courageous thing to do. It was really, really great idea. Unless he's just lying and he said that to make me feel better. But um, <laughs> no, it was really, really brave on his part. And, and it was something that he wanted to foster, the idea that, that people meet these letters you know, as something other than an expose or, or someone telling their life story. Because there's a little bit of confusion about that. It's called Dear Mr. You, and some people have shorthanded it that this is, I don't know, a dishy tell-all about men you've known no, in different... there are well, no dishes. Yeah, <laughs> so tell me, tell us what it is, because it well, is a collection of letters to men. Yeah. Well, I, I really wanted to write something, most of all, that was positive, and, and I think of it, you know, it's an epistolary is the, you know, fancy word for it, but to me it's just a, it's a bunch of thank you notes, and it's really, you know, my rumination just on the gender itself, and, and my love of things male and men in general, and, and I've had, you know, amazing heroic men in my life, starting with my father and my brothers, and, um, and it's just little moments that impacted me where someone, I might not have even known their name or they might have not lingered in my life for long, but they impacted me in a way that was positive. One of the most powerful chapters I thought was you wrote a letter to the orderly in the hospital room where you delivered right. your little boy. <laughs> right. And, and it really wasn't about that orderly so much no. as it was about that moment and you wanted to hold on to that baby. Yeah, and it, it was something I really had waited for all my life, and I, I say in that story that I, I was a, a baby, you know, I'd wanted a baby my whole life. I was a little girl who wanted a baby. And uh, they wanted to take my, my son to the nursery, and I just, you know, I hadn't slept, and I had natural childbirth, and I was like, there's no way you can't have <laughs> this little boy right now. I think a lot of moms will relate yeah. to that. For better or for worse, one of the most infamous parts of your life was when you had a, a kind of a famous breakup while you were seven months pregnant. And to be clear, you are not really writing about that in this book, but there is an interesting vignette which you call, a, a, where you write to a cab driver, and in that moment, it's a powerful moment, and it's a yeah. way that you've talked about it without talking about it. Can you explain? Well, I think it's less about whatever was going on in my life, which is, you know, um, private to me and will always remain so, is that this was a complete stranger who met me at a, at a very low moment, and had I, had I been in touch with... <laughs> you know, sort of a higher self or something and been forgiving of him, it would have been heroic, but I was so attached to my own unhappiness that I was, I was unable to sort of rise above feeling persecuted. And it just created this dynamic with this perfect stranger where uh, this naked, you know, he was, it was almost like he held up a mirror in my face and um, I'm not the hero of that story by any means. And, and he sort of haunted me because I didn't, I didn't consider him or his life, and I've subsequently gone on to really consider what was going on with him that day, because all I could think of was what was going on with myself, mm -hmm. and that's how that letter came to be. Well, it's really thought-provoking, and it's revealing, and I hope you have more books in you. Thank you. you I'm, I'm lucky enough. I'm friends with uh, Mary Carr, and she's gonna. We're gonna go out and do some events together. And she just wrote a wonderful book, The Art of the Memoir, and. Um, she's sort of like a mentor to me and has taught me so much and, and uh, her books have really impacted my life and she's helping me. Well, congratulations. Thank Again, the so book much. is called Dear Mr. You, Mary Louise Parker. Thank you so Thank much. You. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.